You know how people always seem to bring up that they were once slaves, they were once in chains, they were hunted and they were so treated so badly and now they want kind of retribution for that. You know how they always bring that up? They say that they were slaves, but they were never slaves, were they? It was their for forefathers, but they keep bringing it up as they, it, uh, like it was they who was in, was in prison. Now, by your standards, America, you know that if any one of your people has been in a war and they've been captured, being tortured somewhere, or if they would have been slaves somewhere and they were set free, you surely would have sent an, an half an army to, to, to go and get them. You're proud to say that you do such work. Now you're going to ask yourself, how come, how come when you let this, the thief loose, how come... His people didn't come and get him. How come they all stayed? How come they are still there complaining about your world, about your country, what they have done against them? Come over and over and over and over again. Do you see the Jews do that? How come you have been intimidated not to call them for what they are? You, you dare call a Jew a Jew. But you don't dare calling them what they are. You've been intimidated in your own land. You're being bewitched. You're being, you're being bewitched, cursed. Because you take in a curse, what, you t what curse you take into your land, into your house, the same curse shall come upon you. God even said so. He warned you, well, if you don't repent, what I had planned for your enemies is going to happen to you.